Happy Halloween, everyone! It's appropriate timing that we saw a release of a demo for this game, Dracula Dark Rain, being put out by Incubate Games, as you can see in the credit there. Uh, this is a Game Boy Color game that's being developed this year, and it is officially backed. Uh, it's a Stokerverse game, Bram Stoker's Dracula, uh, based on the novel. So it has uh, the characters and all the situations uh, that you might be familiar with that had a movie back in the 90s. So, uh, and video games based on that movie. But uh, this is a brand new thing. Uh, shows a lot of promise so far. It plays very similar to Castlevania, like the Symphony of the Night. So we're gonna check this out real quick and see what the demo offers us. So here we go, we get a little bit of a story. In the shadowed heart of Transylvania, within the forbidding walls of the Castle Dracula, a nightmare unfolds. The year is 1897, and Jonathan Harker, a hapless solicitor from England, has found himself ensnared in the clutches of the enigmatic Count Dracula. Determination takes hold as he realizes that his only chance at survival lies in escape, but Castle Dracula is a labyrinth of secrets, hidden passages, and malevolent forces. Alright, so there you go. Get that big Alucard vibe sitting in the chair there. So now we can control Jonathan, and uh, no big surprises, just has the, the sword, the movement uh, feels good. So we can get out of here. Smash items to get collectibles. Here's a zombie. We do have sub weapons we can hold up and attack. In this case, he does have a revolver. And you can already see here, kind of in the uh, the vibe of the old adventure games, there's clearly a path up there, but we don't have a double jump or a high jump or anything that lets us ac access that at this point. So that's definitely something you'd have to come back to at some point. And here's a little neat touch if you uh, jump into any of the chains or lamps that are hanging down, uh, they rock back and forth. Oh, we got a new enemy here with a shield, so oh, we're going to want to jump behind those and take care of them. Because as you see, they just block everything else. Oh, got a false floor there, so we fell through. But you can check out the menu. Right now you see we have an iron sword equipped. Uh, nothing else to use. Cloth jacket. Uh, doesn't let me select anything there. Uh, nor does it for the sub weapon. And uh, there's no alternate items to use either. But that gives us our stats. So you get a taste of uh, some of the items that will be available when the full game is released. And if we press select instead get to see the map and then when there's you see these thin floors we can press down and drop through here we get to see outside the castle it's raining and you see the lightning flash but oh, we have bats now And if you do hold down and press jump, he does have a slide. And looks like we've reached a uh, bit of a dead end there, but we'll return to that. So let's head left at this path instead. Here we see this box, can chop it down. So this brings us back to where we were before. And we can slide this box along the way. And not much of a puzzle, but that uh, lets us access this platform. Continuing, I'm fighting a lot of bats now, but maybe we get a zombie. shoot the bats <laughs> and there we go thank you for playing this demo and it does give you a little notice you can try new weapons hold up and press start on the title screen all right so now if we hold up and press start and then 
And simple enough of a code, we can go in here and we see we now have access to the Iron Spear and the Iron Axe. So Blunt Tip Spear plus 3 attack, and then a Heavy Weighted Axe, which is plus 4 attack. So we can equip this Axe to Jonathan now. You see, it takes a little bit longer to swing, but does a lot more damage. Which probably in this demo doesn't amount to much because any, any enemy dies in two hits maximum. Uh, but you can swing it low by crouching, you can jump, and he has this nice, satisfying playing down onto the ground with the axe. So here we go. Get it. <laughs> One hit. <laughs> and then we can check out the spear as well. Not quite as much damage, but we have more reach with it. And if we hold the button in, he uh, does a couple of extra jabs for more damage. But uh, that requires you to keep the enemies at a distance, though. And obviously it doesn't work against the shields. So there you have it, that's the brief demo of Dracula Dark Rain. Just wanted to show that off, uh, especially since it's Halloween now. Seems like a really cool project, and it is something that you can try for yourself. It is a free downloadable ROM, so you can check out the demo as well. And uh, if you want more information on that, please check the description in the video to find out more, and I'll give you all the links.